We've given all of our new first year undergraduates a Raspberry Pi computer. We sent them out um, when they received their A-level results in August. And over the last month, they've been working on two challenges that we set. One is they're playing against each other at the game of Battleship, so they've programmed their Raspberry Pis to act as players in the game. The second challenge was completely open-ended. We've called it Blue Pie Thinking. And we wanted them to come up with original creative ideas for ways that they could use their Raspberry Pi in a project. Welcome to the department, welcome to the competition and I look forward to seeing what you've been able to do over the summer. The great thing about this event, apart from just getting them started with a little bit of programming and the technical side of things, this is their first chance to mingle as a new group of students and the format of battleships means that they have to sit down with another student for sort of five or ten minutes while they play a game um, and we're serving drinks and stuff later in the evening so hopefully this is a good way to get our new students talking to each other. For the Blue Pi Thinking Challenge we wanted the students to be creative and to use their Raspberry Pi in any way that they thought was interesting and novel. It could be that the Raspberry Pi is kind of an interface, it could be used creatively so maybe the Raspberry Pi is creating music or allowing them to do art. We set no restrictions so any use that they thought was interesting is a valid project. We've got judges from IBM, BA Systems, Thales, someone from the Raspberry Pi Foundation is here and someone from York College and they're going to be judging the competition. I decided to use my Raspberry Pi to control a model train. The Raspberry Pi sends a pulse of modulation signal via the quad half H-bridge driver to the track which is then picked up through the wheels to the motor. I decided to make a portable microscope uh, called the Raspberry Pi microscope. Uh, basically I got a, a cheap webcam offline and flipped the lens so that rather than focusing a large image onto a smaller sensor, it's blasting this large image from the outside uh, massively onto the uh, sensor. One of the things I, I love is that somebody's uh, written a, a very simple computer game that uses ultrasonic sensors to control the height of a helicopter. And that's the kind of thing that we want to think about and not just to do what everybody else does. I don't want to see somebody show me, you know, some app that they wrote on their iPhone. I want to see things like this. The Battleships competition was all about programming. So for students that had never programmed before, we gave them a template which was a simple implementation that worked but is not a very good player. It just randomly made moves. So that gave everyone the same starting point and they, they could all work to try and improve that. We've got a round of 32 to begin with and it's the knockout all the way down to the final when the best two programmes will battle it out to win the prize. <laughs>